Hello guys, I'm back. Uh, retro video game hunting this weekend. Um, I'm actually outside one of my favourite places to come and, and look for um, retro stuff. I'm at the reuse. Um, the plan today is to um, head into here, see if we can pick up any, um, any retro video games. Then I'm going to hit the high street um, to a couple of charity shops that haven't bared much fruit in the past but um, it's been a couple of weeks so I thought I'd give it another go and um, see what we can pick up um, so without further ado let's go hunting heading into the first charity shop um, it's a children's society I've got my coat on today because it's freezing so I've headed into the uh, into the charity shop do what I do all the time, have a little browse through the books, see if there's any like goosebump type books, like older, older style ones, there wasn't anything. Um, but as you can see, because I, I know my way around these charity shops, I'm straight in and usually straight out if there's nothing really in there. I don't spend too long in these places. Um, I just want to move through them. I know where everything is um, that I'm interested in. So um, yeah. The uh, keyboard I played with the other week is gone. Someone's bought that. But look at all that stuff in there that I need to go through. There's loads of clothes in there. I wonder if there's any games. Um, but head over to the game section anyway. Um, scour for it real quick. All PC games still. Um, I was quite interested. Oxford Slang Dictionary. I might pick that up. I wonder what that, what's in there. Um, add a look, see if there's any new DVDs, any uh, anime or any wrestling um, DVDs. But it... There wasn't anything, no no interest in Blu-rays. Um, I think there might have been a Jurassic Park DVD in there, but I see that the other week and I left it there. So, um, yeah, there's nothing in there for me this week. Waste of time that was. Nothing in there at all. Um, just tried to queue up to get a coffee from Greg's. The queue is too long in there. So uh, we're off to uh, the next one, which is going to be the Sue Rider. Um, again, if you see me, I'll take the risk. So, yeah, here we go. Nothing to run. Right, into Sue Rider. So going into the uh, into the Sue Rider here, straight over to the games again. I know where they are. So um, yeah, this one's one of the more um, expensive ones. I had a little look on the um, on these DVDs, the Agatha Christie and that uh, Ronnie Barker DVD. Again, uh, nothing in that one. Same old stuff from a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Should have stayed in bed, I think. Right, going into the third charity shop now, which is Haven House um, Hospice. To the inside. So I head straight over to the games. Um, the same games that was in there from weeks and weeks and weeks. I'm really tempted just to buy the lot of them um, just so that it gets out of there and then they can put some new games out. Again, I always pick up this Saints Row expecting the price to be different. Um, this Need for Speed, £1.50 now. Um, it trades in for like £1.20. Um, it, it's, it's priced up correctly. Um, if I had a PS3, I would buy that. Um, I do like Need for Speed, so um, yeah, it's in good nick. So um, let's keep our eyes open um, for a PS3. Um, other than that, there was nothing in there. Um, no Nintendo Wii's for me. And then, as you can see, FIFA 12, FIFA 12, FIFA 14. That was Call of Duty's. Um, yeah, there's nothing in there. Not really, not for me. They had this um, this game guide. I've never even heard of this Crackdown 2 game um but i thought i have a look in there because i don't get to see the sort of guides uh, again back to front book um no idea why um this xbox 360 game that's uh, two quid modern warfare three only uh, game in there was that need for speed the run um one pound fifty um trades in cx uh for um one pound twenty so ain't doing that so uh yeah that stayed in there for someone else um yeah last one of this strip should have stayed in bed i've already said that on to the next one 
top news talking about the Boyfriend and the bloody Euros. That's all he talks about. Every three or four years, he's driving around the Well, it's on tonight, isn't it? So after yeah. that, you won't have to no, hear it. No, he'll be on the boat for the next fortnight about what he's done and where his boyfriend is still up to. He's holding up. He's holding up. Right guys, so I've just, um, just been in that charity shop. Do you see that Xbox 360? Um, mint, absolutely mint, £175, no box. I've got a box indoors. I have got a box, not the same one, it's the arcade version, but £175. I tried to have a little haggle with him. He told me to Google, Google it, and they've been Googling the price, and I, I, I got into it a little bit with him about it hasn't got the box, but he weren't interested. He works in a charity shop, he's not getting paid. To, so why, why would he care? So um, yeah, <laughs> 175 pound. Wow, I'd have had that if it was 50, but not not 175 pound, especially with no game. So yeah, it's a bit of a wasted trip to be fair. Um, I'm going to go and get myself a coffee because I really need a coffee. And if anyone knows me, I have about 10 coffees a day, and I've not had one yet. And it's nearly 11 o'clock, so. I need that coffee in me um, and then I need to think about where I need to go because this is a bit of a wasted trip so um, yeah I might see if the car boots out still on and uh, head over there right so I've got to the car boots out it looks like everyone's packing up <laughs> to go so uh, probably a, another wasted trip but anyway we'll, uh, we'll crack on and we'll see what we can find so there weren't that many stalls here um, this stall PlayStation 4 we wanted 40 quid I walked away um, and then just the last couple of stalls that were left, as, as I will say, um, I got there really late, everyone's packing up. Um, I was going to pick this up for my son, this little dinosaur, but half his leg was missing. Um, so, put it back. Um, I was asking people if they had any video games um, as I was going along, people packing up, but no one had any. Um, that Iron Man was quite cool. Um, quite like little things like that, but um, yeah, did pick that up. Just seeing if there's any other dinosaurs in here, um, but there wasn't. And just seeing if there's any video games on this here. Um, did find this little Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. I'm a sucker for Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. I did drop it. I'm surprised if he didn't oh, say anything okay. to me, but anyway, um, yeah, it was really filthy and dirty. So back in the car after a little short whiz around the, um, the car boot sale, there's only literally a about 20 different stalls and they're all packing up. Um, I saw a PlayStation 4, had no leads, no controllers, no games, the geezer wanted 40 quid. Um, when it comes to something like that, um, usually I'd probably be tempted, but not without the leads or anything, that I can't even plug it in as soon as I get home um, to see if it works, so 40 pounds was a bit steep. Um, then I saw a geezer, he had the uh, Xbox 360, um, it, he wanted 20 quid for it. It looked like it had been buried, dug up, buried, and then dug up again. It was filthy. Um, to be fair, I would have loved cleaning it up. Um, but the controller just had a little nick on one of the uh, analog sticks. Um, and that would annoy me. Um, and the price of the Xbox 360 controllers as well. I didn't want to buy replacements. So, um, yeah, he wanted 20. I offered him a tenner. He said no. Basically told me to piss off. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was quite interesting. Um, had a little bit of banter with some of the people on the stalls. Um, overall, yeah, a bit of a wasted journey. But, um, yeah, um, what have I got planned for the rest of the weekend? So, um, I had a delivery of a Turtle Beach headset. Um, we're going to send that into CEX, uh, get about a tenner on that. I've just had a notification that another headset has come. Um, and I need to come pick it up for one of the um, for one of the drop boxes. So um, it'll be a trip to CEX um, to drop those off. Um, yeah. So uh, overall, a bit of a wasted journey. I think the best thing about this weekend uh, so far that I've um, I've managed to get myself uh, a coffee. So on to the next one. So this is what I do uh, when I'm not video game hunting, um, spending time with a famo, um, soft play, chucking balls around. Um, yeah, this is another side to me. 
Hey, you just don't, don't get to see. That's my son. He wants to be star of the show. Say hello. Hey. Hey. Yeah. So, uh, although I'm at soft play, I'm still trying to get some deals done on uh, Facebook. So, uh, fingers crossed, you might see some of those uh, Facebook marketplace deals coming up. So, anyway, better get back to the uh, other job. A little part-time job. Be the dad. See you soon. So guys, didn't have much luck at the charity shops or um, at the car boot sale. However, as you saw, um, I was trying to get some deals done on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and I did pick up one deal um, from Facebook Marketplace this week. Um, and it's a good one. It really, really is good. So I'm um, just going to go through this week's pickups. Um, it's been a bit slow. However, this Facebook Marketplace deal has saved the week. So I'm really, really happy with this. Um, so just go through a couple of the pickups this week. So um, as I mentioned, um, picked up the uh, these Turtle Beach headset um, with the mic, which is uh, somewhere. I think it's fallen off. Oh no, it's there. Look. So um, yeah, we've got, I think this is a P11 um, Turtle Beach headset. Um, three quid trades in for 10. So that's going to CEX. So I think it's for PlayStation 3. Um, don't need it, so that's going to CEX uh, for ten pounds, and that will go towards the Sega Mega Drive um, fund. And um, picked up another Turtle Beach headset. This one's for the Xbox One. I'm going to keep these. Uh, these are the 50p, I believe. Are they 50p? Yeah, 50p's um, in the blue. I go with the Xbox again, three quid. Um, I think it trades in for about eight quid, so I'm just going to keep it um, for the Xbox. Um, then we were sent something um, by one of my followers on Instagram. So big shout out to this guy, uh, Retro Wappers. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Retro Wappers. So if you if you don't know the guy, um, he's got some awesome content online. So um, yeah, he sent me over. He sent me over this package, which I'm about to open. Um, I haven't seen what's inside. Um, so I'm just going to get it open now. If I can um, do it without using a knife, because I've not brought a, brought a knife with me. So um, at, at, at Retro Wappers. So it's um, W-A-P-P-E-R-S. Um, so re really great collector. Um, really jealous of some of the uh, some of his finds that he... Um, that he posts posts up and um, yeah really sound guy love speaking to him about uh, video games and stuff like that really helpful um and again just yeah really really kind of him um to do this um so yeah gifting this to me um i'm really sorry mate I, i'm gonna have to rip the box open oh, i wanted to keep this box but um this is live tv so uh yeah, let's have a little look inside. What have we got? Oh, he's put a note. So he's writ. Keep up the top content. Enjoy your Xbox. Retro Wappers, Wayne. So, um, thanks, mate. Really, really appreciate the support and um, and you sending these over. So, um, so what have we got? Right. So we've got uh, Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. Really, really want to get into the uh, Call of Duty games. Watch Dogs, which, uh, yeah, I, I really, really want to play this game. And then uh, Tom Clancy's The Division. So some, some solid games there. Thanks, mate. That will go straight into the uh, the Xbox One collection that we're building up that nice little stack of. Um, and, guys, I've been so busy, I haven't even, I've not even set the Xbox up. So, um yeah, that's just just how busy I've been this week. I've not even I've not even set it set it up yet. So just been so so busy. Um, and then yeah, so let's move on to the pickup from uh, marketplace. So I've got this box here, and I've got another box. So in this box is a box full of goodness. So there's a lot of tangled wires, but we've got what. Can only be described as a, a headset might keep this for work actually so we've got that 
we've got an Xbox controller in this blue. Um, I think this might be for 360. I'm not too sure, but how cool is that? I think it's a third party uh, Xbox controller, but really, really nice. Um, this box contains power brick. TV VGA cable, a stand, <laughs> you've guessed it, you know what this is already, it's a Nintendo Wii, so as you, as, if you've followed my challenge for the Xbox One, you would have known this, that I pick up a lot of Nintendo Wiis and I get really, really good deals on them and um, just trade them in um, for CEX credit, so we've got another one of these. Um, it come with a Wii remote, also came with this one which I am keeping and it's the one I don't own and it's a pink one with the Wii Motion Plus inside so that's going straight into my own personal collection so I'm keeping that hold of that. It's got Wii Sports in the cardboard, the cardboard's a bit bad but CX won't care about that. Uh, it's got a black nunchuck, there is Guinness World Records just loose in this box. Some other stuff in here. Um, some like charging cables, a couple of batteries. Um, Wii manual. Uh, yeah, so that's that. It comes with some other Wii games. Sega Bass Fishing. I'm gonna keep that for my own collection. Mario Kart Wii, which I'll sell. We play, which I've already got, so I'll sell. And then this one, which I've never heard of, and it's Sports Island. Don't think it trades for much, but I haven't got it. And I'll keep that for the kids. That's one box. Off the same person, we got a PlayStation 3. It is absolutely mint. Like, I'm looking at it, it is so clean. It's been so well kept. There's no dust inside. You can you can see right through that. It's really, really nice. It's, it's in such good condition. Um, so I've got this, which I'm really, really pleased about. It's come with two official controllers. There's no rattles inside. All the buttons are, are, are good. I haven't tested it, obviously, but buttons, there's no sticky stickiness on the buttons. This is the creme de la creme, though. It's, I can't even get it all in the shot. Can you see that, that stack of games? So, quickly run through the, the games that are in here. I don't... I don't break them. FIFA 11, standard. Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 3. Battlefield 4. Call of Duty Ghosts. Sorry guys, I've had to pick them up because I've dropped them all over the floor. Black Ops. Crisis 2. Battlefield, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Sleeping Dogs, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Darksiders, Far Cry 3, Killzone 2, Quantum of Solace James Bond, Ashes Cricket, X-Men Wolverine Origins, Star Wars Lego, uh, The Clone Wars, this one, <laughs> this one as well, Metal Gear Rising, really pleased with that one, it's come Arkham City, Steel book edition of Arkham City and 
The Last of Us. All of that, the Nintendo Wii, all of those games of Facebook Marketplace. When I left the guy's house, I had to check the wing mirrors, the mirror to make sure the police weren't following me because I basically stole this. £25 for all of that. 25 quid. PlayStation 3, all of those games, two controllers, a headset, an Xbox controller, Nintendo Wii with Wii Sports, Mario Kart, a Wii Motion Plus inside controller, a normal remote, £25. So, weekend was saved. <laughs> so, guys, last piece of advice. If you think your week's going bad, it, it, there's a deal around the corner. Just keep faith, all right? So, guys, until next time, um, when we're going to start building up the Sega Mega Drive fund. Um, if you've enjoyed this content, I really, really appreciate some thumbs up, comments, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, have a good week. I'll see you later.